Okay, so what we have here, a uh, little project basically, um, I put up a, a boarded, win like a board in the window with an exhaust vent in the server room uh, that I have. It was originally to uh, exhaust for air conditioning. Uh, turns out air conditioning, super fucking expensive, <laughs> uh, and I can't afford that. So, in the summer this isn't really going to be useful. It's sort of autumn now. Um, and it gets down to maybe, it's actually gone down to zero a couple times, I think. But basically, anyways, the server room sits at usually like 22 some degrees like that. Uh, and actually I think it's a bit higher. But I think you basically around 17 degrees, the right temperature to have the fan spin down, so I can't hear it like I can right now through closed doors. Um, and so basically the plan is to add a second vent in. Uh, with a, an intake fan that'll bring cool air in from outside. Um, and I'll use an Arduino to regulate it basically based on the temperature difference between outside and inside um, to try and basically do climate control from scratch using the outside air. Now the fan is going to be there basically, it has a high and low setting uh, but basically that'll bring a lot of air in. I'm still going to have the exhaust fan going, which is in the top of the server rack, which is about 600 cubic feet per minute. So the idea is that I wanted to be able to control the airflow coming in so I could basically not have the fan on, but allow the natural lower pressure of the room to draw air in with minimal restriction. So that's where this comes in. I had looked at, I was originally looking for one that has one big solid damper, that rotates, and I was going to mount the servo on the outside. However, the store had 19 of them, and they couldn't find any of them. Uh, and they were closing right away, so I just grabbed this, which actually has foam on the inside, which could be added in. But that seemed pretty good, and also these seem more stable, uh, and it just made a better seal overall. The smaller ones uh, with the full damper were really shittily made, uh, and it would flap back and forth. Um, so then the challenge came basically to figure out the kind of linkage system that I would need. I've messed around with this for a while, trying to figure out the right setup. Um, and this is pretty close to it. Um, I had been hoping to do this just like with like Home Depot stuff. Unfortunately for little like rod eye ends, like this stuff, it's basically all hobby store stuff. Um, I also had a servo that I had laying around for years. Fortunately, took some knocks, the motor broke off inside, did my best to repair it, still won't work properly. So I, I got this really shitty old one for five bucks, um, still working pretty good. It's $35 for like new ones of this pretty much exact same thing, so I'm quite happy with that. So yeah, basically I've got a uh, Pro Mini here, uh, and I'll probably tweak this. It doesn't open 100%. Um, not as far as I would like. I think I'll probably have to settle for not being able to do that, though. Uh, the motor does also make strain noises at some point, or just, like, a little bit of twitching. But I encountered that, I recall, when I was using remote control. So right now it's basically set on a 10-second loop. Or no, 20 seconds. So every 10 seconds it just changes position. So I can hear a little bit of noise. I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it. Just a little... a little something fluctuation. There's got to be a way to sort of adjust that and probably make this a little more rigid. Right now everything's hot glued in. I'd probably want to screw the um, screw the actual little ends in place on that. And my camera's just really having trouble focusing on this. But yeah, so basically the idea is I can have the fan on. Well, let's wait till it goes all the way open. So I'll be able to have the, the fan on and then it'll also like with a relay, turn on the fan, and then kick this open, um, and it'll let air flow in. This will be the side facing the cool air, uh, just so it has less trouble getting in. And then um, once it cools down sufficiently, it can close up completely like this and turn off the fan. But if I, if I find that I need to tweak it and still allow some air to come in, I'll be able to set it to any of these positions that you see it cycling between. So this is set to like 90 degrees or something like that. I'll be able to set it halfway open to let a medium amount of air in or something like that just through um, negative pressure or have the fan on and set it to like a quarter of the way open, something like that. Um, 
So I think right now I might just leave it running on this little battery bank powering it through USB. Um, and just let it run and see if I have any issues with the sort of alignment on this. Uh, I don't like how much that is off kilter. I might remove the little um, eye thing from it. Uh, just because as I'm tweaking on and off, it, uh, I'm seeing like, you know, it'll bind up in some sections and maybe need a little bit more twist ability. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is working pretty good. And that's actually close to full open. I think it maybe went like a little tiny bit more open when you could squeeze it by hand. That's actually quite good for in, in terms of being full. Um, I would like to tweak the servo position a little bit. That way I don't have it... Right now that's like the zero position and then it, when it opens it sets to... It, that's like 90. Okay, the recording stopped. Um, I might try and put some cloth tape in the middle there. That way when it's closed it's like even more sealed. But yeah, I am... I'm really quite happy with that. Uh, yeah, that's working better than I thought. Needs probably some tweaking. Figure out why it's got that noise. Maybe I just need to, like, put a, a I don't know, some sort of different signal. Close out the pulse width or something. Because right now it doesn't make that little vibrating-ish noise uh, when it's in this position. So... Oh, see, it's not doing it now. It's not every time. I don't know what it is. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with how this is going so far. Um, yeah. I just figured I'd set up a little demonstration of it. Uh, basically, I've got it closed now. Uh, so when I plug it in, there's a little bit of airflow that you can feel from it. But it's actually pulling air in through the center, essentially. I should on something like smoke uh, and so it's kind of pulling air in through the middle and going there so then I will go ahead and sorry for the awkward movement plug in the Arduino and so then it'll open up to like 80 something then 30 or then fit oh yeah it opens up to 100 there we go and then it'll go back down to 55. And it'll go all the way open to 130 degrees. And then it goes down to 90. Or to zero, which is completely closed. And interestingly, the fan ramps up and down based on like the load, which is odd. So let's do a video just like this. That works a bit better, actually. There's a bit of suction, actually, interestingly, regardless in the center there. I don't know if it's bad for the motor to be running and, like, doing that with the vacuum. Um, but it, it's a fan, so it should hopefully cool itself. You can see the big transformer there, so there actually won't be amazing airflow, like, super great. I'll be able to see it open close from this side. That's full open there. Uh, fully closed. And let's go ahead and just watch from the back. So again, that's like 100, then it'll go down to 55, and then full open and then close. So yeah, I am just super pleased with that. Uh, it should let me get like some really, really fine control over how much air is coming out of this thing uh, and also the noise level of it because when it's like on this it's not going to be very audible whatsoever and if I combine that with the lower speed input that's going to be pretty awesome I think